Manufacturing in Northeast Ohio, I think, go hand in hand. I think it's clearly changed. It's gone high tech. We were at an MDM show, it's the Medical Design and Manufacturing Show in Anaheim, California. There were over 70 U.S. manufacturing companies that are involved in the medical device industry, most of them from Northeast Ohio. We have very successful manufacturing businesses here in Northeast Ohio, and there's still plenty of opportunity for strong American companies to go out and take their place in providing goods to customers here in this country as well as customers around the world. Veltronic is a worldwide company with facilities on three continents. Many of our products here at Veltronic go actually inside the human body. Uh, we manufacture here cochlear implants that help children that are born deaf be able to gain hearing. Veltronic had the opportunity to participate in a Third Frontier program with Magnet. The program was very successful. It started out with a Third Frontier grant and we actually turned it into a product that gets sold into the market is FDA cleared and we added jobs in this facility to, to manufacture it. That's the idea, that's what translational means, is, is actually translating this scientific concept into a real product. Thermotion's been around since back in the early 70s and it's a uh, unique actuator technology so it pushes things, pulls things, opens and closes. It's muscle. Electrothermal actuators have been used in uh, four-wheel drive systems on uh, General Motors pickup trucks, on Frigidaire ice dispensers, airflow control on corporate jets. Being located in Northeast Ohio works well for us. We can source essentially just about anything we need to source. Instead of having to deal with somebody a thousand miles away, we can get in the car, go over and see them, or they can come over and see us. You have a, a huge number of colleges and universities and trade schools and technical programs that actually train people to do what we need here. And we've added 20 people here since last fall to this facility. It's just been a great place for us to have a company. Kent Displays is a company that focuses on the design and manufacture of flexible or glass LCD displays. Many people don't know that liquid crystal display technology was invented right here at, at Kent State. We're actually building a product here, it's called our e-tablet product line. We're building it here, it's a consumer electronics product and we're going to be selling it actually in China. So it's a paradigm shift I and mean, we're actually building a product here in Northeast Ohio and selling it to consumers in China. Alcoa Wheel Products actually started the uh, forge wheel industry here in North America, in Cleveland in 1948. Innovation is what we really define our brand on. Our brand was built on technology. Our customers want their vehicles to look great, and they want to have the wheels as light as they can be, so they have great fuel economy and lower greenhouse gas emissions. We're bringing winning products to the market that we've developed, designed, and manufactured here in Cleveland. A lot of the products that we make here in Cleveland end up getting exported to Australia, Japan, Europe. Uh, we're emerging in China, and we're supporting all of that growth with our North American manufacturing base. We're ramping up our production capacity, we're adding jobs, we're adding shift schedules. Our primary focus is taking all the success that we developed right here in North America, in Northeast Ohio, and taking that to customers in every region of the world. We are trying to grow a several hundred million dollar per year company, and I think we can do that. I think we can do it here in Northeast Ohio. Yeah, I'm very bullish about the outlook here in Northeast Ohio. We see the market expanding and we're going to benefit from that growth. We make stuff here. That should be our state motto. We actually make stuff. You know, we can think about it, we can design it, but we also know how to manufacture it. That's really important.
Manufacturing, I don't think, is dead in Northeast Ohio.